To get started, I added a video clip to my timeline. Let's begin by expanding our video track so that we can see this line going through it. Next, let's right-click the FX square in the top left corner of your clip, then hover over a time remapping and select speed. Now while holding down the control key on your keyboard, click on the line where you'd like your speed ramp to start. This will create a speed marker at that point, then drag the line after the marker up or down to set the final speed you want your ramp to eventually reach. I'm going to drag my knob to increase my clip speed. Okay, now my clip speeds up when it reaches the marker, but it does it instantly and not gradually with a ramp. So to create our ramp, let's drag the second half of our marker to the right. Keep in mind that how far you drag the marker is going to control how quickly your speed change ramps up. All right now, my clip ramps up over time until it reaches the second half of the marker. To smooth out the ramp, select one of the halves of your marker to see this point with handles. If you're speeding up footage like me, drag the top handle to the right to create a curve, which will smooth out your speed ramp. Okay, and there my speed ramp is more smooth. Keep in mind that you can change the final speed even after creating a ramp by dragging the line after the second half of the marker. Now to bring your clip back to regular speed, we're going to create a second marker. While holding down the control key, click on the line where you'd like to start slowing things down. Then after the marker, drag the line down to set it back to a lower speed of 100%. To make the speed ramp down, simply drag the second half of the marker to the right. Finally, I'll just move out my second ramp by dragging its top handle to the left. Alright, now when I play this back, my clip speeds up stay sped up for a bit and then slows down to regular speed. One popular effect is to speed up and slow down your clip all at once by moving all your markers close together. Then drag the last part of the line further down to add slow motion instead of just bringing your clip back to normal speed. Remember that if you're using slow motion with lower frame rates, you'll need to add optical flow to your slow down clips to smooth things out. So right click your clip, go to time interpolation and select optical flow. Then with your clip selected, go up to sequence render selection. We're just rendering the selection because optical flow can be hard on your computer's hardware and we want it to play back smoothly in the preview. Okay, and there I had this nice looking sped up and then slow down speed ramp effect. And that's all for this lesson. Thanks for watching and see you next time. If this video helpful to learn quickly, hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. Then you won't miss any upcoming tutorials.